Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We are Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We have a What's Old video for you today. This is for this past weekend. It is Monday. You'll probably be seeing this on Tuesday. Um, but yeah, this is what sold for us over the weekend. So here is Kathy with our sales. Hey, guys. Um, we'll start with Poshmark this weekend. First up was a bundle of three items. So this is a exciting sale to get because I hadn't really had any sales yet for the weekend and I was getting bummed but this was a great sale um I don't know if she's a viewer but I her name sounded familiar when she made me an offer so I checked and she is an Instagram follower so uh Kathy if you are watching thank you so much for this purchase so these three items I think were like totaled up to maybe like 139 or something and she offered me 100 which I accepted so first up was these hotter comfort concept um, flats. I picked up this brand a few times and it's sold each time but it, it has been a slow sale but I just think it it feels like nice quality leather and stuff every time I find them so I usually buy them. Um, I have eight dollars into those and then these were some Allegria like uh, Red Mary Jean and these ones I think I had $10.99 into these and then this is just a Mossimo sweater cardigan. Um, I actually bought this for myself recently, but I didn't like the fit, so I just relisted it. And I think I had like $13 into that. So <clears throat> and she offered me $100, so after Poshmark fee, I make $80. So really happy with that sale. Alright, right, and then next up, if you watched my recent birthday haul, uh, these Timberlands were in it. I got these at Castle Rock, Goodwill. Um, Castle Rock is just a city in Colorado. Um, I paid $8.99 for them and I list them for $50. They retail for $80 and they're basically like new without box almost looking. So listed them for $50. I got like five likers pretty much as soon as I listed. Um, and I sent an offer to likers of $40 with discount shipping and somebody countered me at $35. So that was only a couple bucks less because I was already paying the $2 discount. So happy to accept that. It was almost a $20 profit. So happy with that. This one is a pair of Allegria snow boot type things. Um, I didn't know Allegria made anything like this, but I found these at Goodwill the other day. They did have them priced way up at $25, but I sell the clog ones all the time for $60, $70, sometimes even $80, depending on conditions. So I figured I could at least double my money. Um, I listed them at $100. I mean, they retail for like $180, I think, and they're basically like new without box. So I listed them high. Um, I got a lot of likers again. Set an offer of 80 with discount shipping. Someone countered me at 60, so I just accepted that. Since I had a, kind of um, a lot of cash tied up in it, I wanted to get that back. And I think it was so. She offered me 60. I make 48, so almost double my money, and fairly quickly they've been listed. Maybe a week. Yeah, those are pretty cool. Though. Yeah, they're really nice. They were my size, so that's why I was okay paying up. Even though that's not my style, I would wear it if <laughs> nothing else. All right, so that was it for Poshmark for the weekend. We got some eBay sales. All right, first up was these Cuba. These just sold before we started recording. Um, where is, all right, so these sold for $49.95 free shipping. Um, I actually only paid a dollar for these, so way back in the summertime, I guess that wasn't that far back. <laughs> At the end of the summer, this local thrift shop I've mentioned before um, was having a dollar sandal sale, except the half the sandals I brought up to the register, they said, not these ones or these ones or these ones, but <laughs> she let me have these ones for a dollar. So these were really nice shape, men's Tiva size 13. And yeah, she would not let me have the sass that they had priced up at $20. So anyways, glad she let me have those. I paid a dollar for them, sold them for 50 free ship. They're going to Texas, shipping was, $8.89 so still a really good profit there and this cutie sold yesterday um it's just a little care bear i think he was called fun shine bear little that thing's huge yeah, it is really big so i paid three dollars for this at a local thrift and when i looked him up it looked like he was selling around thirty dollars so i listed him for 34.95 free ship i knew he was over a pound so you know if someone in new york bought him he was gonna cost me like 13 bucks to ship so I did list him a little higher but then I ran a sale this weekend 13% off and this buyer paid 28 75 free shipping buyer lived in I can't remember where they lived 
uh, Indiana. So shipping was only again about eight eighty nine. So you probably have seen him up in the corner there. I think yeah, Goofy I think is now. He's only been up there maybe a spot. week or so. I got him whilst I was at school. So plush does sell pretty good for us. Yeah. yeah. And Care Bears are kind of like popular. Yeah. yeah. Right now. So. All right, and then this is a just a Nike hoodie. I got this over the summer at a garage sale for two bucks. Listed it for twenty nine ninety five free ship, and with my thirteen percent off sale, this buyer paid twenty six oh six free shipping, and that was under a pound, so shipping was only about five, a little over five bucks. Right. And these are some LeBron little toddler sneakers, uh, Nike LeBron. And I listed them for $29.95 free ship. They've been listed a few months at this point. So I had a new watcher this weekend. I sent them an offer of $24.75 free ship. And they accepted. So um, I did pay a little more for those. I paid $8 for them. So. And then another pair of Vans. These ones I only have about $5 into. And I listed them for $24.95 free ship. I don't know why I said another pair of Vans. These are the only pair of Vans. <laughs> so that sold today uh yeah they sold this or weekend. this weekend um so with the sale this buyer paid 21.71 free ship shipping was about 350 or so okay. and this was a vineyard vines pullover so this was actually my son's he wore it once or twice he got some stains on it in that time so i listed it for 1995 free ship um with my discount they paid 1736 free ship and again shipping was a little over three bucks all right, and then these are just some little Nike baby um, sneakers. <laughs> I only have a dollar into those. I don't know why, but when I went to Salvation Army last week, their kid shoes are normally $2.99. Um, but when I checked my receipt, he only charged me a dollar. I got this pair and one more other pair, and he only charged me a dollar each. I don't know if it was a sale I didn't know about or he just input it wrong, but oh, I'm not mad about it. <laughs> so $1.00. They weren't in great shape, but I still listed them for $24.95 free ship, and I sent an offer to a watcher of $19.95 free ship. Shipping was just over three, so decent little sale. And then these are just the brand um, Alpine Design. They're uh, men's snow pants, just basic black snow pants. I got these at Salvation Army as well a long time ago, but I only recently listed them. Um, I got them for when everything was two dollars. They were every clothing piece in the store was two dollars. I got probably a hundred or more items that day, and these ones finally sold for twenty four ninety five free ship. Um, shipping was in a pad of flat rate, so seven ninety one on that. That was an offer I sent to a watcher just because I wasn't excited about the item, so I wanted to see it. Go. Okay, and then this is something I showed on Instagram last night. This was a um, probably. I think that $100 posh sale was probably the most profitable bundle of the weekend, but this was probably the best sale, single item sale. Um, so this is just a guess uh, vintage made in the USA denim crop jacket. I found this and then another vintage Calvin Klein denim jacket like last week, and I grabbed them both. I have $7 into this one. I listed it for $79.95 free ship, and with the discount, for the weekend, the buyer paid $69.56 free ship. And this, again, is going in a padded flat rate. So shipping cost me $7.91. And I think I profited like $45 bucks or something on that. So really good to see. Very good, yeah. And that was a really fast Vintage sale. denim <laughs> jackets. Yeah. And then... I think so you was, just picked up one that has like a blanket line too, right? Like Yeah, I listed that today. I'm, I'm excited. So we're, we're hoping that's going to sell pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> hoping for 100 on that one. We'll see. All right, and then the rest of the sales, well, not the rest, a couple Mercari and a couple Kid are in. Um, so Mercari first, this is a pair of Tory Burch heels. These, I picked them up because they were 10 bucks. They honestly aren't in great shape at all, so I don't remember what I listed them at, maybe like 40 to start, and then I think the price was like dropping slowly, and then somebody offered me 29 plus they paid the shipping, so I accepted that just because, yeah, they're... I don't like selling heels. I don't even know why I bought them just because I was <laughs> Tory Burch. So I, I bought them, but I'm glad that they sold. They've been listed maybe a month or two at this point. Not terribly long, but still happy to see those go. And then this guy is just an Under Armour women's 
purple jacket. Um, it didn't have the new tag on it still with a retail of 60. Um, we found this at Goodwill. Chris was with me one day. We dropped off our son at school and went to the thrift store. So I think we paid $10.99 for this guy. Um, I was okay paying with that, paying up for it because of the new tag. So um, it ended up selling for $36 plus shipping. The buyer just bought it at my list price. And this is a North Face, um, like a base layer set. You can only see the top here, but it does have a pair of matching pants as well. Both new tags. I got these at the Dillard's Labor Day sale. I have $5 into each piece, so about $10 into the set. And it sold for $39 plus shipping. So I love selling North Face and all the outdoorsy brands. We do get a lot of it here, yeah. being in Colorado, mm -hmm. so... All right, and last two sales were from Kittizen. First up is a bundle of three items. So this buyer got two of the same tank tops. They're Old Navy. She bought a size 2T and a 3T, and then a pair of Oshkosh whale swim trunks. So um, she had these all in her cart. I ran a 30% off three sale on Kittizen yesterday, which didn't really amount to anything, but then I went back and sent offers. So she had already gotten the 30% off three, but I sent an extra $4 off just because so I have it 99 cents into each tank and 50 cents into the swim trunks. And none of these are great items that I want to hold out for extra money. So I sent her 20 free ship on all. Shipping cost me $3.85. I make $13.71. So over a $10 profit on mediocre items. That's fine with me. <laughs> all right. And then last up was these Tucker and Tate. Um, just some navy blue shorts. I got these off thread up. I actually bought them for my son, but I didn't like how they fit him, so I listed them. I did pay $10 for them since they were for him, but I listed them at $19.95 free ship, and that's what they sold for. So I still made all my $10 back plus like three extra dollars. So yeah, Tucker and Tate is a Nordstrom house brand, I believe. Oh, we have some questions. <laughs> Alrighty. First up, um, Adele's Attic asking, okay, so she, in the last video where we sold a Carhartt vest, she wrote, It wasn't the last video, I think it was a couple videos ago, but yeah. So we sold a Carhartt vest a couple videos ago, and <laughs> um, so she's saying, I said it cost around $12 to ship, but looks like I put it in a large priority flat rate box. I can't remember what box I used, but we don't have any It was flat one of these. Rate. Okay, yeah. these big ones? Yeah. Okay, so... Is that okay if you pay for a priority label, then use any priority box? I'm still trying to figure all that out. So, yeah, if it was, I, I mean, Chris is saying, I don't really rewatch our yeah. videos or anything, but if it was this box, this is just a, any box. This is not, if you see, it says large mailing box, so it's not flat rate. Mm -hmm. um, they do have flat rate ones. Those ones, you have to buy the flat rate label, but these you can use for any priority shipping, and it's just you're just paying based on the dimensions and the weight of the item. So that Carhartt vest, I think, was with the box and everything under two pounds. So we just paid for two pounds, which, depending on how far it's going, um, is going to be different. Like, for example, we I'm going to list hopefully tonight some American Girl dolls that are about five pounds. Um, so I was kind of checking. The reason I haven't listed them is because I, they are five pounds and they're kind of in a box that's large. So I was trying to figure out the best shipping and. So I went to New York, and it was going to be, the very most it would be would be like 18-something, but then going to California, it would be like 10-something. So it really just depends on where it's going. So yeah, that Carhartt vest, I don't remember where it went, but must have been kind of far for it to be $12. But yeah, you can use any of the priority boxes as long as you're paying for priority yeah. mail shipping. It doesn't have to be flat rate. If it is flat rate, in fact, you have to use a different box altogether, which we don't even have any of those here because i don't want to mess up and accidentally use one on accident. right and you cannot modify the flat rate boxes but you can actually modify these yeah. priority so boxes we which we, we do sometimes yeah, i think we did in our last what's tabs sold. on this table one because it was just under two it was like 115.7 and i just didn't want it to go over so yeah that's a cool trick <laughs> uh you can't really see it oh it's... we did it here on this box here you see where we cut this tab a little shorter just to make it a little bit lighter takes off like a couple ounces which usually is all you need to don't cut the under. whole tab off but you could probably cut about half of it off and don't cut off one of the outer tabs <laughs> so like on this one 
this one will be folded in and that will be going on top. So hopefully that answers your question. But yeah, you can use, yeah, you might as well take it. That's what the boxes are there for. So to yeah. take advantage of them. Um, all right. And then last question we had today was from Megan. She's asking for items that you buy for the intent of like my kids to wear or ourselves to wear. Um, do you still inventory it with cost of goods at the time of purchase, or do you just consider it extra income since it wasn't bought to resell? All right, so we don't, like, type it in our spreadsheet when I buy it, really. Mm -hmm. Chris wants me to, <laughs> but I haven't. I, First of all, disclaimer, <laughs> we are not tax professionals. Right. Do not use this as your tax advice. Uh, definitely see mm -hmm. a CPA. So I don't, um, yeah, I don't know what the correct way to do it is, but since we're not actually making income for the most part, you know, there's a few instances where we'll make a few bucks, in which case we we log everything anyways. But if it's zero dollars or like negative dollars, mm -hmm. I just put zero in the profit yeah. box. Um, but if like like this, I'm making three bucks, our profit line will say three bucks. Um, mm -hmm. So even though I bought that for my son, but I still profited more than I originally bought it for, even after fees and shipping. So I'm gonna I pay taxes on the three dollars basically. But again, we're not tax people, so yeah. Um, so anything we do make profit, we do pay taxes on, even though it's personal items. And I'll just turn this around. And so, yeah, anything that we do, because we do thrift a lot, and you have a high chance of getting profit on something that you buy, you know, for cheap. So anytime um, we do sell something for more than we pay for it, we do put it in our spreadsheet as if it was through our business. Um, and we report the taxes or the profit on it and pay taxes on it. And um, definitely talk to a CPA just to see. Um, hopefully that answers your guys' questions. Thank you so much for asking the great questions. We are going to go ahead and pack these up and get them off to the post office. And uh, I think I got out. I got out in the garage a little bit today. Got to work on the counter or the the desktop. That's coming along nicely. I'm hoping to have that project done this week while the kids are home from school on Thanksgiving break. And uh, I'm not having to home from school. I'm not having to be there making sure they're making Zoom meetings and all that kind of stuff. So they're home. They just don't need as much attention. So I'm able to get out in the garage um, and get that project done. And, and hopefully that gets done and uh, all that good stuff. So anyway, I'm rambling here and we'll, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.